unbelievable job. And the fact that we can give 200 hams to this food bank who can then donate it to families that need it for this upcoming Easter holiday, I mean, that's what it's all about. And we're not just here to give the hams, we're actually gonna stay and volunteer today, which is great. And we have tons of associates who are excited to do it. And it's just a great partner, a great day, beautiful outside, and it's just, it's just nice to be here. Nice to be doing the right stuff. Yeah, you know, 200 hams, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, no, it's really awesome. It's amazing, to be honest. We give 1,200 hams total giant food uh, to our five Feeding America Food Bank partners, which includes the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank in Virginia, as well as the Food Bank of Delaware, Capillary Food Bank, Maryland Food Bank, and here, the Fredericksburg Regional Food Bank. And honestly, it's just about getting to the families because truthfully no one should go to bed hungry and, and unfortunately that is an issue so at least if during the Easter holiday we can make a family happy with a full ham and so they can have a full belly when they go to bed well that honestly is what it's all about and that's what we stand for at Giant. Well and uh, not only does 200 make, a, make an impact the, the fact that, that you guys are going to volunteer here today, talk about getting involved in, in your community. Oh, no, it's super important to us. We're trying to really make it, well, it's always been important to us to go and volunteer, and, and we try to do it monthly, but it really has become more and more of a thing as we've seen with COVID, more people are really feeling the... Um, the problems, the issues with not being able to get food, to be able to go and uh, put boxes of food together to help the elderly, to help children, to put food that can uh, be given out to the community, to get your hands dirty and be able to do that, that's really what it's all about. Because at the food bank, they are on the front lines. They're doing this every day. So wow. for us to be able to give food, that's great. For us to be able to volunteer and help in the supporting of it, that feels even better. And I know everyone here is excited to be here and do that. And you think about Sunday, you know, a, a lot of these, there, there's 200 people that may not have had something like this. Right. They will now on Sunday. Yeah, and, and that's what it's all about, honestly. It's about giving. It's about giving to our neighbors. Giant has been around for over 85 years, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the community. Yeah. So the least we can do is give back to the community, help 200 families, make sure that they have a full belly. Believe me, if we could, we would do as much as we can to support them because they are our community. They are our neighbors. They are our friends. They are our family. We see them in our stores. And, and, and this Easter holiday, people should enjoy it. They should enjoy the holiday. They should not have to worry about what they're going to have for dinner. Thanks for what you guys do, because again, this is this, this is more than just a corporate kind of thing. Sometimes we, we you, you look at at a giant and you just think, you know, they're they're faceless and they're 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 a corporate thing. It's not. You, these kinds of things make you really connected to where you live. No, a hundred percent. And honestly, it's the people in the stores. Yes, I can come out here from corporate and support it, but it's everyone in the stores at Giant who work every day out there who make a true difference, who are connecting with our neighbors. And so um, we might seem faceless at times, but we're really out there and yeah. we're really part of the community and we're here to support and we're happy to be here. Yeah, it's a great way to celebrate the spirit of Easter, the idea of giving and, and sharing. And we recognize that Giant is doing its part to share with the community and highlight into the community that it is invested in this community. And so just as we, the food bank, are invested, Giant's joining us in that partnership. But in partnerships is, is, is the key. And I know you talk about it all the time and that, that's how you're able to feed the community. It really is. We can't do what we do without the community's support, without the community rallying around us. Not only are they providing 200 hams, to help families in need at this Easter time, but they're here to volunteer today as well. So they're really doubling their giving and they're doubling their impact. And I think they will go away, the associates who helped today, with a new awareness of the impact that they can have on the community. Just to see this, just to see the operation that you have and, and, and how you do things, I think is it's for all of us is good to see. Yeah, I think it's really eye-opening and several of them have been here before volunteering and they were regaling me with some of the stories of what they recall and. You know the impact it had on them to be here as a volunteer so I really do think that they will get a new appreciation a deeper appreciation and I hope the families that benefit from this will in a small way recognize that Giant has been the reason for them to have a happy Easter. Well, and Dan, when you talk about volunteering that goes for all of us that if, if it's one thing and you need it you need us to write checks and to, and to do that kind of thing but to get out here and, and volunteer you need that too. Yeah, I think people who volunteer go away with a sense that they have personally invested in a way that writing a check or something of that nature, impactful though that is, may not let people feel the sense of their service. I think the volunteers who come here, they go away recognizing that they tangibly experience the food that's going out to the community, the food that's gonna be on tables, and it gives them a real appreciation that they've been part of that chain to get the food to the people in need. It's always interesting. These, this time of year, when you, or any time of year when you've got holidays, we, we think of and all I want to do. But I mean, you're, you're here 365 days a year distributing food, and, and it doesn't ever go away. Yeah, I appreciate your recognition of that because you're right. We tend to be more conscious as a community when there's a special spirit or a special festival or some reason to celebrate. And yet the people in need are constantly in 
struggle mode you know, to some degree. We have nearly 30,000 people in our community who are food insecure, meaning they cannot supply three meals a day for themselves, the adequate nutrition to live, live a healthy and active lifestyle. And that's what our mission is, is trying to fill that void 365 days a year for those who face that situation. And we look around and we see what gas prices are, we see inflation, and what, what, what you do is even more important. Yeah, people are really being slammed this year. I mean, I think the community rightfully so is maybe feeling we're catching our breath a little bit with yeah. COVID, but at the same time, we look around and there's so many other impacts that are causing people to have needs and struggle. And we don't know if COVID is behind us for sure. You know, we yeah. can see how that might spike or not spike. So we really have to be conscious that there's so many needs in our community at this time, and we need to rally around and give that kind of support on a long-term basis. Fredfood.org if people want to get involved. That's the idea. Fredfood.org is a way to volunteer. It's a way to give. It's a way to understand more about our mission.